from the camera. There we go. Oh, likewise. Thank you. Do you so mind you, if I push this back? Yeah, no, no, no. Thank you. It's okay. So are you still on the show? Or are you leaving? Or what's the, what's the story? So Will Horton, uh, as, uh, as was recently aired, he has left to go to Hollywood to help his mother... Uh, thank you to help his mother write, uh, well, to write the biopic that his mother will be starring in. Um, that said, you know, Will Horton is a very integral part of the Salem family, and so he will uh, return. I cannot uh, divulge necessarily the, the, you know, the circumstances, but there are very interesting circumstances that uh, ultimately bring about his return. And so he'll come back to Salem having um, having some secrets, and, uh, and he'll he'll come back to learn that other people have some secrets as well since he's been gone. So his departure, ultimately, I think in the long run, it's been, it's been great. I'm really happy with what we've filmed lately. Uh, and I think if we're not for the fact that we're with Hollywood, it would be hard for these new developments and some new characters to come into play in Salem. I have a question. Um, so how much pressure is it for you to come in as a recast from what was a very popular you know, character actor? Is it? Do you come in and, and think, I'm going to reshape this character, or am I going to try and, you know... Follow his. Sure, no, that's that work. It's a very poignant question. I, I it's got to be scary because they're going to not like you immediately. Right. You know, and, and, you know, and it doesn't make a difference how great you are. Oh, no, 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 thank you. And it's like, you know, I've always known it's not personal. You know what I mean? It's, and, it's, and if anything, I admire a fanship that is so committed, you know, to to their show, to their stories, you know, and so loyal. You know, uh, I, I mean, I do admire that. You know, and so when I first came on the show, I think I was so excited to be a part of it. Um, there really wasn't a lot of room in me, you know, to, to be scared. I, I think my, my first goal was to, you know, because it all happened very quickly, you know what I mean? Like, within the span of about four days, I was contacted, I screen tested, and then I was offered a contract. And then minutes after that, my predecessor was let go. And um, so it, 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 really, it all happened so quickly. Well, see, I understand they found you and that you were such a perfect fit. And from what I understand, he was planning to go anyway, and they just they didn't want to give up the chance of getting you. No, they were, and it was, they were very flattering. They, they, you know, they were. I, I was very flattered with, you know, how how much they valued my time. Um, but you know, I've been, you know, close to getting, a, you know, a contract role in days for some time now. I actually, uh, when when they first began looking for Sunny, I was in talks, you know, for Sunny. And part of what was a, an obstacle was the fact that they were afraid that I looked too much like yeah, Channing Tatum. That, that and and you know, and again, it was frustrated. But it, again, it's not personal; it's just business. And so they sort of restarted that whole process and that's when they found Freddie Smith who is perfect you know for Sonny and that's been great and so then you know you know Chandler expressed you know an interest in leaving the show uh, and because they wanted you know to continue the storyline and, and you know again because they had so much respect for me which I'm so grateful for they really were willing to expedite that process and uh, so then you know when I was made my offer and I came on the show I I really I was aware I was aware of how pivotal the Will Horton character was and so my, my objective was wasn't so much to emulate what Chandler had done, but just to maintain and, uh, and, to, and to build upon the level of truth and authenticity that he brought to, to Will Horton, and he did an amazing job. You know, and it's, you know his you know, his awards they speak to that. So it's 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 for me. It's I don't want to be. I, don't, I never needed to be him. I just wanted the character to continue to seem grounded and real, and I wanted to honor the storyline. And and, and it's, that's really been my, my goal from from day one. And then I, you know my castmates and the producers and writers have been nothing but helpful and supportive. You know to helping you achieve that goal. Yeah, you are. I think you won him over. Thank you. Uh, it's taking a little while. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. And it's got to be nerve wracking because. It, it is, and it's interesting because it's, you know, it's like if you're, as an actor in LA, you always know about the shows and you understand it's like a different breed of show, it's a different breed of fan. And still, it's always a little jarring at first when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, people are like reaching out to you to say really sort of mean things, you know, because in their mind, they fault me for Chandler's departure, you know, and. And again, it's it's you know it, it is what it is. It's, it's so it's like I don't take it personally. And if anything, I'm sad because I want them to continue to love their show. Right, right. You know, it's like I want you. It's like look, you don't have to love me, but just please keep watching. You know what I mean? It's like well, I, I don't think anyone really is gonna ever stop watching for something like. I, I hope not. You know, I hope not. The problem is so social media is wonderful and it's great for shows and it has sure it helps date more than person. But there, there is um, a lot of people that can 
say things without having to, you know. They, they don't recognize. I mean, the thing is, and this is what a lot of people don't realize, it's like when you tweet something or send a message, yeah. we see almost everything. Like, yeah. if we're on social media, we're on it because we want to be on it, you know? Right. And so it's like, I love it because I'm able to connect with so many, like, like passionate fans, and it, and, it, it, and it enriches my life and my job. Right. But you have feelings, too. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm just, you know, it's, at the end of the day, I'm just making a living, you know? And yeah. it's, I'm doing what I love, and it's a dream, and I'm honored to be a part of Days of Our Lives. But I'm also a person, you know, and it's like it's not unique to me. It's it's endemic to oh, so no, many no, things, no. you know. But the it's, feedback we're getting lately is I've not heard anything yeah. negative. You know, and it's, it, everyone always said it takes some time, and, and I you know completely respect that as well. And again, like let's you know just just to be to clarify, the the response that I've gotten has been overwhelmingly positive. You know, it's, it's really just a few bad apples. Um, but it's just it's just unique. It's almost like yeah, it's like I'm back in high school again. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. like people are like saying things they don't even know me, and then you remember it's just. Show business. It's just great. I mean, we watch another so sometimes. And, uh, you know, I had told him someone was recast and he came out and, and he was like, oh my God, you know, we would never say those kind of things to someone in person, but you're just, right. just the shock at the yeah. first second. Well, right. It's like when you're driving and someone cuts you off and you say yeah. some really mean things that you wouldn't say in real life, right. you know, and it's like just because it's things get objectified when there's a screen, a TV screen between you, it's easy to objectify a situation. So you fall in love with the person that's doing a good job and people have fall in love with you. Sure. It's just a short lived So do you yeah. want Sonny to have an affair while you're gone? <laughs> Well, you know, as Guy Wilson, the actor, that would make for some excellent drama. And so as an actor, you know, that would be a fun storyline to really sink my sink our teeth into. I mean, as Will Horton, that sounds awful. I would no, that. no, no. <laughs> but it's a storyline. It, it has to happen. It's Something has to boring. happen because it's you know it's I, I, you know as I've come to learn in, in daytime drama, serenity is death. You know, oh, yeah, it's like yeah. the moment there's no conflict, then there's no life. Oh yeah, John Anderson was just saying that earlier. Yeah, and it's harder for you because you don't. Know, well, this is it. You know, it's like for, for the other characters. You know, we can you know take a name out of a hat. Anybody right. could sort of you know end up with anybody. And, and I think that does add to the intrigue. You know, that's right. great. But with Will and Sonny, it is a uh, it's a it's a different kind of uh, well, obviously it's a different context. You know, and so obviously I don't want you know I don't want Will and Sonny to not be Will and Sonny. But as far as what will be airing in the next few months, there will be some conflicts that will push them to the brink. And, and to be honest, even now, I don't know what's going to happen. Things have gone to a pretty dark, challenging place for Will and Sonny. Well, and it's, it's, it's big, it's great business, and it's fun for me. But, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting, you know, to like really have some really meaty emotional stuff to try to sink your teeth into as an artist. You know, it's what we all aspire to be. So were you glad that they cast you before they got married so that you could see I am, I am. Because that way I, I could have had that human experience you know memories like whenever they do flashbacks you know that you know from you're here. making history it, well yes yeah never mind just the fact that I can you know you know in terms of uh you know, something beyond the show, something that, you know, an issue that transcends the show, something that's so important, you know, to our society today, to be able to be a part of that and to contribute to, to it uh, as, as uh, you know, within my line of work, it's an honor, you know. It's, it's so you really think important. about that, you think... Oh, absolutely. You know, you know, LGBT rights and marriage equality are issues that I've always been very passionate about since I can remember. I'm so excited because it wasn't that long ago that Crystal Chappelle was, I don't remember what soap she was on, um, where they couldn't even kiss yeah. the two women. Did you know what I'm talking about? I think about? that... I think it was General Hospital, but I'm not sure. I think so. But yeah. To go for 30 years. To have, to have a, yeah, and to be able to just to show just just basic human intimacy, you know, that, that we can hold hands and kiss and just, just show this is how humans express love. And, and to me, that's all it is at the end of the day. It's To me, it's not a gay story. It's a love story. You know, it's just too, they just happen to be men, you know, but there's no differentiation that needs to be made. And to that end, it's not difficult to play it, you know, because it's like I've been in, you know, it's, yeah, it's like if you know what love is, then that's, that's all you have to do. Is just have that experience in front of the camera of being in love. Okay, I'm happy for you. It Thank like you. Going really well. Yeah. Good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk with everything. And Thank you so much. This is for the Yeah, great to All meet right. you guys. See you again soon. Okay. <laughs>